thing you'll need is either a blouse or your dad's work shirt and then some shorts because you know you don't want to wear underwear out for Halloween and then I just took a baseball cap because I wanted to spice it up a little bit and then I added a pair of sunglasses too and I put my own girly twist on the costume and I love it For the next two costumes, I don't have antler ears or bunny ears, so I created these face bun half up do things. So you just twist your hair half up and into two buns, and I bobby pin them in. This is so cute. It's now like one of my favorite hairstyles. I am obsessed, you guys. It does not have to look perfect, you know, animals are not perfect. And people will kind of get the idea of, you know, ears, I hope. Yeah. Filter has really rosy cheeks, so I applied a bunch of blush and then I mixed a few different eyeshadows like purples and pinks together to create a really nice color for the nose. And then I got some white and kind of did the highlight for the nose. And then I mix some Vaseline and some eyeshadow because I don't have liquid eyeliner or anything like that. And then I made the cat ear whiskers. And yeah, this is what the whiskers look like in the Snapchat filter and it's my favorite filter by the way. <laughs> If you do not have any eyeliner or anything like that, or face paint, just mix your eyeshadow with some chapstick. So I did the white nose, and then I put did the black on like the bottom part of my nose, I don't even know, by the nostrils. And there we go, and then for the wing, it's a double wing, I'm not very good at eyeliner. I maybe, I've never done liquid eyeliner before, so yeah, bear with me. And then the colors for the cheeks, I was really bad at that. I didn't know what color to do exactly. And then the forehead, so I wanted to change up the color for the cheeks. And then I switched up to this color and then blended out. And then made it like a cut crease on the forehead. And then added white dots to the forehead. And there we go. There is the deer filter. <laughs> This costume is for anyone that has ears laying around their house. I wore a black outfit for this costume even though the ears are white. And I did cat ears, I mean whiskers, and then a nose, pink nose, and then let's go some other side. Yeah, I'm a cat or a mouse. And then I added some pink lips because um, I thought I'd added a little something. And yeah, super quick, easy costume. Just throw on. Along the way, melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. I wore a camp shirt for this outfit and just some sporty, comfy shorts. And I am a Girl Scout, so I do have. I do have a Girl Scout vest, but you can make one out of felt or anything you like in that and add some make your own patches and stuff. And then a main thing for Girl Scouts is bandanas, even though not everyone wears them. Um, so fold into a triangle like this and then put it around your neck like that. You can leave it around your neck, you know, with a triangle in the front, but I did and put it up over my head and there we go you're a ghost scout and i thought it added like a kiddish kind of vibe by adding some freckles on my face even though i have freckles even more freckles and yeah i thought it was super cute and blended it out and yeah there is the ghost scout yes just wearing a blouse and you can wear a chef hat but I don't have one and then cake on foundation or BB cream 
and yeah then use your setting spray and then you'll need some flour yes I'm so afraid for this And surprisingly, the flower actually stays on so well with the foundation and then the makeup setting spray. It was super hard to get it off. And yeah, I feel like it's a really cool costume and very unique.